Hello everyone, this video presents one topic of the induction motors drive and control course. We prepare this setup to test the developed code for the soft start and soft stop of the motor. Here in this example, we consider the VF control, the voltage frequency control. And in the next examples, we will consider control methods using the speed feedback and also space vector modulation, right? Or field oriented control, the vector control and so on. In this simple example, we are going to check if we developed the code correct or not. Yes, as you know, to increase the frequency of the current gradually, we should set the auto reload register and the capture compare register of the timer optimally right so here i prepared this h bridge circuit and these are gate drivers this is the microcontroller and only i used one channel of the timer we will discuss the developed code in detail right how to set this timer and what parameters we need to define for the soft start and soft stop right for example the rise time the falling time and how we can set the value of the auto reload register to keep the switching frequency constant right to have a good waveform for the current so this is the load i used this induction motor and i considered two phases in series right so this is a star connection and i used two phases here is the connection for this H bridge circuit. Let's measure the phase current and also the drain source voltage of this MOSFET. The drain of this MOSFET is connected to the positive DC link voltage. Okay so let's turn on the dc power supply to fed the gate drivers and also to have the dc link voltage and then i turn on the timer to check the waveform of the current and the drain source voltage the first channel is for the load current and the second channel is for the drain source voltage okay everything is ready and now we can turn on the timer to check the waveform of the load current so here as you can see we have gradual increase in the value of the frequency of the load current yes in the code we try to keep the switching frequency constant yes to have a good waveform for the load current with a low ripple so this was the start up process let me zoom 
you can see the drain to source voltage of the first MOSFET and uh, this is the waveform of the current and now let's turn off the timer and check if the code works well also for the turn off yes so when we reach the minimum speed we turn off the timer okay in the next example i will consider the three phase inverter and start and stop the motor in this example just we consider it a single phase to check the performance of the developed code thanks for watching